Welcome to a brand new podcast. As always, this is the Oracle 19. And my name is Greatness. And my voice is back. Sounding delicious. Yes, delicious. Oh. Hey. Who? Yeah. Who? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just testing the voice. Oh. All right, all right. Yeah, I had a sore throat for a couple of episodes. You know, I talk a lot, even on the air, off the air, all around the town. So, yeah, sometimes, you know, things like that happen. But it wasn't no cold or anything, just talking a lot. But I'm back. Like I said, sounding delicious. Yes. One more time. Mm. Oh, yeah, come on, break it down, uh, uh. yes, ooh, ah, okay, <laughs> let me stop, again, welcome, 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 and again, the Oracle 19 podcast is on all major platforms, we're on Anchor.fm, Google, Apple, Spotify, Amazon Music, just to name a few, and again, any information that I haven't mentioned or do not mention, you can check it out in the description box of the Oracle 19 podcast. Uh, also, we have www.theoracle19radio.com. That's like our internet radio. You can find us there. Uh, Greatness 19 channel as well as Mr. Evolution of London. Those two is on YouTube and like, subscribe to those platforms as well now any business inquiries you can email us at evolutionoflondon at gmail.com if you want to put your brand on this podcast so definitely uh, email us and that's the same email uh, if you want to make a free will offering through our PayPal account definitely we can use your support as we trying to expand evolutionoflondon at gmail.com and again, I'd like to thank the country of Spain, cha-cha-cha, that is now listening to us. So we, and New Zealand, thank you. Keep on passing the word to family, friends, and foe in those two countries. So New Zealand and Spain, thank you. Now, also check out the company, Royalty9International.com, uh, the luxury candle company, the whole, ri- whole wide range of scented as well as unscented uh, candles. And as far as the scented candles, they have eucalyptus, peppermint, frankincense and myrrh, sandalwood, just to name a few. 12 ounce uh, luxury candles and again 100% soy wax candles or soy wax excuse me and if any question concerns you can email them at royalty9international at gmail.com and check out their social media royalty9international on tiktok and instagram you can check us out or support www.evolutionoflondon.com we have a whole wide range of products from uh, men's, kids, ladies clothing uh, there's perfumes, tools house products furniture as well also check out www.evolutionoflondon.org there we have custom clothing 
accessories, digital products for personal as well as business use. Finally, check out www.evolutionoflondon.store, S-T-O-R-E. There you can check out our uh, lotions and soaps and DVDs, so definitely support that as well. We have different links to other affiliates, www.linktree.com forward slash Evolution of London. There's different links to other affiliates, so definitely support that. Music. Cheap Limousine Channel on YouTube. Whole wide range of different beats. Definitely like, subscribe, and share to Cheap Limousine Channel on YouTube. And once you go to his YouTube channel, you will see other social media uh, sites that he has. So definitely support Cheap Limousine Channel on YouTube. And continue to train on YouTube. Check out Greatness 19 channel. Over 415 videos to open up your third eye. So definitely like, subscribe, and share. On the road to 1,000K, I need y'all guys to keep uh, subscribing. We almost there to 1,000. Need about 75 more of you guys. 75 to reach that 1K. So definitely like, subscribe, and share. And let's keep pushing. And continue to train on YouTube. Check out Mr. Evolution of London. That's our health and wellness channel. Definitely a lot more videos will be put there on health and wellness. So definitely support that. That's Mr. Evolution of London. Our health and wellness channel on YouTube. Mr. Will. He's been a fitness consultant for over 15 years. I need your guys to support his brand. You can email him. Willie's Fitness 99 at gmail.com. That's Willie's W I L L Y Z Fitness 99 at gmail.com. Also, you can email him at health, health, fitness consultant one at gmail.com. Health, fitness consultant one at gmail.com as well. Check out his merch, www.wjaaccessories.org, O-R-G. There you will see his custom clothing, uh, accessories, as well as digital products also. Check out Oliver Twist, located 130 King Street. It's downtown London. And the reason why, other than their great food, Uptown Friday Night. That is DJ Panthro, one of the best DJs in southwestern Ontario. He'd be on the ones and twos, giving you a wide range of old school, new school music. And doors open. Nine. Well, for... For him, on the ones and twos, is from 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. That's every Friday night at Oliver Twist. Again, that's downtown London, Ontario. And again, the address is 130 King Street. Telephone number is 519-204-81. Excuse me. 519-204-9184. 519-204-9184. Once again, that's 519-204-9184. So again, Oliver Twist. Check out AT Cell Phone Repair Center. Location is, they have two locations. One, uh, that's 1401 Ernest Avenue, Unit 15, again, London, Ontario. Telephone number is 519-204-7300. They they sell cell phones, accessories, as well, computers. So definitely, I need you guys to check that out, support that. 
Their, tel- their email address for that first location is atcellphonerepair at gmail.com. That freedom, that's who you're going to ask for. Freedom, yes, that's his name, Freedom. 20 years of experience. The second location is 93 Wellington Street North. And they that's their wholesale location. Again, they wholesale computers, iPods, iPads, accessories such as phones, and etc., etc., etc. They're number one for parts and accessories in London, and they also provide security cameras and install. Again, their toll free number is 877 358 0026. Local is 226 503 3300. And their email at that location is atwholesaler at gmail.com. That's A-T-W-H-O-L-E-S-E-L-L-E-R at gmail.com. Now, any other information I haven't mentioned, like I always would say, you check out the Oracle 19 podcast. So definitely I need your guys to like, subscribe, and share. So, okay, today we're going to get into the topic that will open up eyes, third eye, you know, open up ears, make people twitch, maybe do the Harlem Shake, I don't know. Today we're going to talk about the black man's image have been destroyed. Yes. Oh, yes. What say you? Some of you concerned, some of you don't care, it's up to you. But there's some people that do think about me as a black man as well, so I'm going to speak on it. Now the question is, is the black man's image destroyed or have it been destroyed in this modern day society? And my answer is... Yes. Oh, yes. See, and I mentioned this on other shows, that the black man's image have been destroyed because we rate it as low. Now, a lot of people don't want to admit to it, and a lot of people think, you know, behind closed doors, they know it's true, but in the public eye, they want to sugarcoat it. But look, let's be for real here. The black man is rated as a savage. Point blank period. He's rated as a criminal or criminal minded within the world. Not locally, but within the world. Baby maker. Just a dumb athlete, that's all, at best. It's not rated for his intelligence. Heck, his, he, it's been, the powers that be even conditioned most of our women to have perfect hate and disrespect for us black men. So this is this is this is not this is something you know. A lot of people want to sugarcoat it, but this is what it is. Now, unfortunately, within the black community, we've been conditioned to hate each other, just wind us up and let us go, so and destroy our own selves. Propaganda and so forth. But let's get back to the, say, the image of the black man. As I mentioned, he's rated that way. Now, a lot of races will bring up, you know, certain, I would say, bogus statistics or opinions and stuff. Well, look, we look what we see in Chicago. Look what we see in Chicago. Again, that's not the whole city of Chicago, you jerk. And that's not the whole black, all black people don't live in Chicago. I'm going to give you something to think about. 
there's black people in Denver, Montana, Nebraska, okay, Washington, not D.C., the states. Okay, how about South Dakota, Ohio, West Virginia? Okay, let's go there. Arizona, Hawaii. Stop. Okay. Alaska. Okay, keep going. I know my states. Now, those states that I mentioned, some states is not a high percentage of black men, okay? Because if you really look at the jails, let's say in South Dakota and North Dakota and Nebraska and Montana, Ohio, excuse me, Oregon, the jails is, to my understanding, are filled with white people, mostly. And in the Midwest, you have a lot of white degenerates there. Now, not to say that there's criminal-minded people in all races. You have a lot of bad, you know, black black people in all, you know, different areas. But that's not the majority of black men. Because if you just want to say, you know, majority black men is criminal-minded and thus and so, it basically, let's, for every, let's say, 10 black men you see walking down the street randomly, you might as well say seven out of ten of them is just bad walking down the street. Now, I know you fools out here will say, yeah, yeah that's true. No ass wipe. That's not the case. Let's use our thinking cap here. You know, again, most black men out here, <coughs> excuse me. Most black men out here are just regular working class black men that's just trying to make a living, just like you, other races. But the image that is put out here is one thing. And if you're going to say to extend that, you got black people, black men all over the world. You mean all of them is just criminal minded? Black men from the U.S. of A. to Africa to the islands to Europe, to the other continents on the planet Earth, South America, Central America. You know, I might be over the top a little bit. But you get my point. And I wouldn't call Central America a continent, but, you know, I'm just talking here. I'm, I'm rambling now. Just walk with me. See, the thing about it is we got to use our thinking cap here. And you have to see the propaganda and what race of people is putting out this propaganda over the course of decades and centuries. For 400 years in North America, propaganda about black men been put out there. Propaganda from the way we eat. Fried chicken. You gotta be an ass white to really think fried chicken is like the go-to of a black man or black people in general. Come on now. Let's... Are you that stupid? Don't you read? You got a phone, which is really a computer. Go Google it. So you mean every chicken factory that's cutting up chicken and... Black people's waiting online for some chicken. I mean, granted, we all like chicken. I like chicken, but you you mean white people don't like chicken? You think the factories, the chicken factories, is just designated 
for black people, excuse me, black men, I'm using black men because the, the image here, this is the topic about black men. And really the target within the race is black men because once you cut off the head, the body will follow. Once you destroy the black man's image, the woman is usually no use. She's just, she just there for the gods, for anyone to pick and whatever, you know. Basically, like any kingdom, once you destroy the men, it's easy for another kingdom to conquer the women. That's what I meant to say. But back to the, uh, the story about the chicken factories. <laughs> If you have to show you how the image is being is systematically was destroyed, I'm just using this one example. All these chicken places, chicken farms, chicken factories is just designated for black men. And you go to supermarkets and you see white people eating chicken, fried chicken, baked chicken, whatever, stir fried chicken soup. All races. But they just say, like, I'm standing in line, like all black men standing in line, and they got to have some fried chicken. A stereotype that is stupid. One way, to, another way to destroy the black man's image. Another one, watermelon. Like, all of these health stores, you see white people online getting watermelon. But we love some watermelons. Another stereotype to destroy the image. So all of these farms that's producing watermelon is just reserved for black men. Like no other race eat watermelon. And actually watermelon is very good because it cleans out your system of the impurities. Back in slavery time when the white man plantation owner was feeding us all of the the rotten leftover foods from the pig, the chitlins and all of this other gutter food, the watermelon flushed out our system, kept us surviving. Facts. I know. I'm coming from that lineage of of family history that passed that information down to me about that situation and many other families that were slave owners as a black American. So that also destroys the image. I had a silly one time a silly white woman asked me, one time I asked them, it was a conversation about uh, what is a stereotype of black people? And this is, now I'm talking about people in general. And she said, it's, uh, uh, one thing she said, you know, a stereotype that black people love cheese. I said, Jesus Christ. I said, cheese? That threw me for a loop. I said, cheese. C-H-E-E-S-E? Cheese? She said, yeah. I'm saying, I looked at her, how dumb can you be? That's in my mind. But I told her, I said, that, I, well, no, let me, I can't lie. I said, that is stupid. That's a, that is stupid. I, I, I had to tell her straight. Yeah, I, I remember the conversation. I said, that was that's stupid. I said you don't like cheese. So the supermarkets that is out here, it's just reserved for black men, black women, cheese. 
Like you don't eat cheese. You never eat cheese. You don't like cheese. You don't drink milk. I don't know. I, I know. I just throwing things out there. I, I'm thinking on that as I'm talking to you. Well, next thing you know, black people don't like love dairy products. Like you don't love dairy products as well. But now, anyway, cheese. Yes, cheese. I'm like, wow. But see, these examples of images destroying and people hook, line, and sinker believe it. And these are supposedly intelligent people of modern day society putting out stereotypes like that. And then the world believes it. And definitely, definitely only thing black men is good for being athletic. We just big black bucks or just bucks in general. We could play sports, but we have no intelligence. Like it's no doctors and lawyers and engineers. Or haven't been. We're not looked upon black men as intelligent. If you say, if I said, for example, me, I I could play sports and I'm good at it. That is definitely believable. And if I said I had 20 kids, that's believable. I don't even have to take that to court. I could just say that it's believable. If I just say, oh, I have 20 kids, it's believable. It, it it won't even be a debate about it. You don't even have to show proof of that. But if I said I was a doctor or a lawyer or engineer, oh, really? Really? How can how can that be? Uh, uh you know, you get stumbling. Really? I, you know, I heard other stereotypes like black men can't speak because, yeah, you you have different types of black men. Some it speaks, you know, the jargon, slangs, but that's don't hold for all black men. You have black professionals out here that know how to speak. I look, I, I'm an example. I know how to talk both ways. <laughs> Dual languages, if you might say. <laughs> but they, the stereotype is when other races walk up to you, they got to say, what up, man? Yeah, what up? What up, man? What up, brother? What up, brother? I didn't know I had a brother from another mother. I didn't know that. But if you had the same man, same situation, hey, how you doing, sir, or how you doing? But me, you got to say, what up, brother? What it is? What are bees like? And I look at that person like a jackass. And they really thinking they doing me a favor. That's supposed to be coming down to my level. Because... My level of capacity. You know, I can't relate. I can't speak a, a certain language, a king's language, just regular talk. I, they got to get down with me. White people do that a lot. And other races follow too. I look at them as foolish. Personally. Don't come to me with that hip hop jargon and you don't know me because I'm a I'm not gonna say anything I'm just gonna stare at you and look at you like a jackass so just know I'm thinking of you as a jackass just know that and believe me other black men of my caliber will look at you the same 
you thinking you paint a, just a clear one brush that this is all black men. Just like you have you have black trash out here, you have white trash, you have Asian trash. Man, you go to these countries in Asia, in China, in India, you got some of the most degenerate trash that you will find in the world. Europe, you got white trash, ultimate white trash in those places. Italy and Greece, trash. The area is trash. The people is trash. They talk trash. The upper echelon of those people in those countries don't even want to associate, don't even want to know them. But here you thinking it's just black people, it's just black men, it's just trash. You got the worst degenerates on the planet Earth in those countries. But they come here and they want to put their nose up high like black men here is dirt. Because what they hear or the few incidences they see on CNN or local news. They paint them one picture of all black men. And they coming from scumbag places. And they even talking in their language. They just degenerates straight up. And the white trash in in America think they better than the black professionals. (laughs) Go figure. It's a mindset. It's what put out there. The stereotypes. White trash, I repeat it again. You got white trash in North America that think they better than the black professionals here in America. And they nothing but white trash living in trail parks, having sex with the same gender or the second cousin. This is this is this is what it is. So the black man's image is destroyed. And they sit in this systematically just been put out there, you know, even to our black women to have perfect hate. That's not all women, you know, all black women. You have black women, a small percentage that knows the game. But the image that has been put out there was put out there to destroy each other. Because there's the black females that have perfect perfect hate for the black men and believe the stereotypes like we, like black men is a bunch of gorillas they think like the white men in other races and they perform they work in conjunction the black female not the black woman the black female work in conjunction with the white man's society to destroy the black man's image on top of that. You see it in social media. All day, every day. You see in everyday life, the black female, not the black woman, the black female will take the man to court, destroy his image, destroy his brand, destroy his children, destroy everything. They don't have to, the white man don't have to do the bidding. He delegated by propaganda, by brainwashing, he put it out there to the black female. The black woman is on cold, but the black female to destroy the black man's brand. Yes, I said it. On sight. That's what it is. That's that's what it is. It, it is what it is because you see it every day. The black female is now destroying the black man image. It used to be where you would keep things within the black family. But the way propaganda, the way, let's put it out there, 
Who runs the propaganda? The white man. And he put it out there and wound up the black female to go for it, to destroy your man, his image, his brand, his children, him, his family, his job, him, everything, physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, destroy everything, seek out and destroy him. And you see it every day. And utilizing the court system. So, white men don't have to, you don't need the KKK to run up. And they did mention that in, in like materials, that, that you know, underground materials. The KKK don't have to be in a black person's neighborhood anymore to lynch mentally we lynching it ourselves the black man's image is being lynched every day all day 24 hours a day within his own wake up in the morning there's another court date where another black female have taken another black man to court and she believes in her head that she's doing the right thing she no question about it believes in her head that separating her children from that man is the greatest thing she's doing the right thing she's obeying her boss again it's not the black woman okay the black woman is on cold. It's the black female. I'm repeating this to you so it can sink in. We're going. We're rolling. Oh, yes. I'm not playing. Yes. Let's go. See... This is how, this is another way where the image of the black man is destroyed. It's just using your peoples, for, it's like eating away at you from within. And again, this is what it is. The, these black females thinking they're doing the absolute right thing not a problem and they have no problem and they not, it, not with a blink of an eye they think they doing the right thing because he's scum and this and that and not keeping things within family business which it should all of this is helping destroy the image what do I say is a solution for you black men. Because when you walk outside, you are the enemy. You are the prey. You better take this to heart, black men. You better think on this. Some of you black men, a lot of you black men, oh, it's not me, you know, I'm all right. I live in a certain area. I don't have those problems like you or, you know, that's and so. Look, at any given time, the target could be on you. You have the race soldiers, which is basically city security, city police, (laughs) state, provincial, federal. They on you. Two sets of laws, black, white. We know this. This is unspoken words. You black men do a crime, same crime as the white man. He gets a different charge less than you. Why is that? It's many case laws. Thousands and thousands of case laws 
over the decades, all over the planet Earth, where black men have been destroyed, railroaded, ostracized. Over and over, even deleted off of this planet Earth. Because of hearsay. It's been going on for 400 years. And you don't think the black man's image is destroyed? This is what it is until this thinking world is destroyed itself. This is what it is, black man. You are the prey. You are the enemy. And the solution, because there's always solutions. Black man, control what you can control. Yes, it sounds simple. Not necessarily is. But you can control being the best you could be. And I talked about this previously a little bit, being a lone wolf. But I would say more on a universal level, but that could be applied to you as well. The last show I talked talk about being a lone wolf. That, if you listen to that, that could be a, you could apply that to you. You might have to come to grips with that where you are the lone wolf. Your family is against you. Your woman is against you. Society is against you. This is what it is for the average black man. You have to walk outside. Who do you got? Who, how many people, many black men, majority of black men, because the image been destroyed one way or another, they have to defend for themselves. Think think about this, black man. If you get sick, and I mentioned this to other people previously, If you get sick, you're a grown black man and you get sick, who can you rely on? Your woman? Your children? Family member? Society? Most black men out here, because we have to worry about others, we defending others, but we, it's not guaranteed that you're your spouse or whoever or your children will look after you when you get old. Most black men out here, and listen, black men can vouch for this. If you go down, if you get sick where you can't work for a month, who can you rely on? I got an answer. No one. If you're lucky, maybe one or two people. If you're lucky. If you're lucky. Most black men don't have that. They have to defend on themselves. If you get sick, you're screwed. You are screwed. See, women have programs, community, other things. Baby daddy, uncle, father, male cousin, female. Female outside the family. Female inside the family. Children. Something. Someone on social media, if they show their breasts or their buttocks, somebody is going to fly them from the East Coast to West Coast. Somebody's going to pay their rent. Somebody's going to pay their telephone bill. Let me show my goddamn feet on OnlyFans or Instagram. Who's going who's gonna to send me money for my rusty, crusty feet? And fly me out. I don't want to be flown out, of course. But who's going to offer me cash to pay my bills if I go down? I need cash. Who's going to offer me cash? Hard, cold, hard, cold cash. 
no one. I got to run around and hunt and gather for mine. It is what it is. I don't want you to feel sorry for me. I'm, this is not a sob story. I'm not asking you, oh, you know, help me out and help me out and because you don't get help me. Please, please help me out. Please, please, please. I don't, I'm not looking for that. I'm just stating what's factual. Because I've been on this planet Earth for a while. I've been grinding out. And I'm always grinding out. That's just what it is. I'm just used to it. Just my mindset. I just strap up my boots and just keep it pushing. I don't look at, you know, you, other people helping me, society. And I don't expect you uh, black men to rely, say, woe is me. I need your society to help me out and have sympathy on me. No, don't even. Black men, you don't want no goddamn sympathy. Yo, man, you just stating facts that what it is. And for you black men to know you, you're not the only one in the game out here. <clears throat> Strap up your boots and push forward and be the best you can be. Control what you can. You can go work. You can make a living. You can, can, you can have health and strength. You can work out. You can eat properly. These are the things that you can control. You can pick and choose quality people around you. These are the things you can control. And we have to be more stoic, less, less emotional. Because sometimes our family, friends, and foe and spouses can soften us up. Children can soften, soften us up. Sometimes you got to be firm regardless of the children, regardless of your spouse, regardless of the family for your overall good. Because remember, black man, you are your image is being destroyed every day. So you got a lot more to lose than women and children. Think about it. You are the nucleus. People got to rely on you. If you go down, you die. Oh, well. That's how I look at it. If I die, well, eventually I will die, right? People just going to say, he's dead. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> yeah, I got loved ones. A few will say, oh, you know, uh, he, 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 you know, cry. I mean, brothers out here will cry. I mean, people out here will I get it. But overall, greatness is gone. Oh, well. And some people say, good. <laughs> good. I'm glad he's, he's deleted. Glad. Good. It is what it is. This is what it is. This is, this is the cards on the table. So... Black man's image is destroyed? What do you think? Some races and some people say, no, nah, it's not destroyed. We destroyed ourselves and blah, blah, blah. To a certain degree, yeah. To a certain degree, absolutely. Listen to what I said. To a certain degree, absolutely. But... There was propaganda out here by the dominant society that orchestrated what you see today. And now it is what it is. And I didn't even touch on the drugs that have been pumped in the neighborhood. Guns that have been pumped in the neighborhood systematically destroy us more. Uh, diseases that have been put in the neighborhoods quality of food bad water you know food is very important you notice the difference in the, the white societies or in the suburbs their food is a lot different than in the hood that's fact we've been systematically trained to be a savage now a lot of people is not going to understand that that's above their pay rate of mental capacity, they're gonna say, no, 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 we we the blame. I, I said to a certain degree. 
but the propaganda was put out there, the blueprint was put out there, and you just wound us up and let us go, and now we acting like savages against one another. But again, a lot of people's not going to agree to that. And so freaking what? I'm not here to make people agree. This is a show here that I'm not even... This is, I'm directing this to black men out here. But I don't care if whoever... You don't have to agree or not. This is not for you. It doesn't matter. Because I'm not here to try to make you feel good. I'm not here to want you to have sympathy for me. And minds. I'm not here for you to love me, but you're going to goddamn respect me. If you love me, beautiful, I thank you. I appreciate it. But I'm not here to try to make you see things differently, see my way. I'm just giving you a perspective of what I feel and what black men feel and know. And the black man's image has been destroyed. My perspective. Some people might not think so. They're thinking, oh, well, maybe we destroyed ourselves and stuff. And I repeated that again to a certain degree. Yes. But propaganda been laid out. And you wound us up, wound up the community and let us go. And now it's easy. You don't have to be in the neighborhood with a nuclear bomb there. We doing it. We destroying ourselves for a lack of knowledge. So the black man's image, in my opinion, is destroyed. And for black men out here, is the control to get back on track is to control the things that you can control. Keep life simple. Because it's war season out here. And you are the prey, as I mentioned. You the prey. So you got to think like a warrior. You got to think like a soldier. When you leave your house, you got to be, you got to be calculated. You just can't be, because there's a lot of traps out here, a lot of booby traps, I call it. For example, you young black men. You like, I know you at the age, you like going to the club. Well, I said this previously, but you can't be just wanting to have sex with any type of female out here. Because you're going to run into a female, not a woman, a female. Because most women, most of these ladies are female-minded out here in these streets. They whores, Jezebels, skanks, crabs. And they will put charges on you. And if they don't, because they're mentally ill, they will put diseases on you. And if you get them pregnant, they will put a case on you. (laughs) Or cases. A combo special. Just for you. How about court case, family, and criminal? Merry Christmas for you. So you can't be out here in the club just wanting to turn up men, black men, and any other man for that matter in this case. But black men, you young black men, (laughs) you better be careful. Get in an argument with a woman, she can bring up a story. A story. You hit her. You verbally assaulted her. And the snap of the finger, the SWAT team is going to come. The SWAT team. (laughs) And I know I'm being over the top, but how many cases we black men seen four or five police cars coming for an incident domestic? On hearsay, no fist, uh, no physical, just verbal for you, and they ready. It is what it is. (laughs) 
All because you met this one at the club, on the corner, or at store, city streets, parking lot, club, house party. Come on, let's let's bring it. This is what it is. You have to be careful. That's number one, two, three, four, five. You can't be out here just slaying females. It's not the days of 40, 50 years ago. I talked about this. Whereas there's camera phones. There's, I mean, there's a lot of stuff. And these females are just saying all different types of craziness. Now, your women out here, again, they're delicious. I appreciate them. Got loyalty for the women out here. No problem. Keep going. I have high, high respect for these women out here. 2%. Sorry, 1.5 to the ninth power. But these females out here, dangerous. Dangerous. You playing with fire out here. I'm one of the lucky ones. <laughs> Thank the Lord. And the ones, a lot of these brothers is lucky as well but you young black men y'all better be very very careful very careful that's number one I'm I'm really slowing this down talking about that because the downfall of a lot of men is the woman and that could be throughout all races throughout all races the test of time that holds true the downfall of a lot of men is because the, the women that, that was around them so what that tells you, you need to be careful of these women out here. You need to screen them like the law enforcement will screen you when you're going for a job application, filling out a job application for law enforcement. This is just what it is. And there's others, many signs, you know, you could, you, out here you see these women but, I mean, uh, it, it will cause controversy, but there's many signs, red flags. I, I could get in depth. It's not all, it don't hold weight for every, every case. But red flags. You at the club, men, women with a bunch of tattoos, kids, drugs, smoking, weeded up. Lick it up. Red flags. Their mind state is not right. That sums it up. And that's controversial because a lot of women, women smoke weed, tat it up, and, you know, have children. And that will trigger them all day when they listen to this. Heck, they, they will look at me funny. But it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. You have to be very careful. Very, very careful. So, but that's just one example how your image could be destroyed. When you go out here, you, know, you could be destroyed by other race of women. Police. Anyone, randomly, could come at you. So my question is, once again, black man's image have been destroyed true or false what say you thank you for listening